Did you know that there's obviously there's so many tools to learn a new language these days? It's crazy. You've got like YouTube, you've got audio books, you could use ChatGTP, OneNote can actually break down the information and then and you could slow it down to like like 0.2% of the speed so, so you could totally hear what they're saying exactly. It's crazy. You know, I've been trying to learn Spanish and French lately, having having tried to learn Spanish for like 30 years or so. I, I was thinking that French is uh, because it's also a Latin based language should be should be f relatively easy to pick up compared to some other languages was my thought process. And I noticed a few like non professional mind you observations about French compared to like Spanish, just again, non professional observations, you know, I've, I've noticed that French seems to just skip over large parts of words. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, they just I mean, so they, they like they like skip like three to four letters that are in the word all the time. So 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 that's like half the word. Well, you're reading along this thing and they skip like you 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 read like half the word and then you just skip to the next word. And I thought I thought maybe they were just saying it really fast because I can't pick it up with my ear. They just said it really fast and I didn't hear it. So I tried to slow down the YouTube video to like 0.25 of the speed which is again crazy that you can even do that and it's like no they don't say it they they just skip they just skip like large parts of the word all the time i'm telling you and i mean like why why bother why bother even writing down the letters if you're not going to say them why would you why why even have the letters there if you just like not and i'm thinking th this is my theory by the way again non-professional theory i'm thinking that the the old aristocratic French people, because it was like the lawyer language of its day, I think, you know, they were, those guys were like, they were like modern computer programmers, I'm thinking, and they got paid by the character. They got paid by the character. So when they, so when they were writing the contracts, they were writing all their legalese contracts and whatnot, I feel like they stuffed them full of like unnecessary characters to improve the billing rate. But then when you actually speak the language, like speaking computer code language, it doesn't need all that stuff and you just leave it out when you actually run the program and speak the language, you know? And then, and then French also has a beautiful flow from one word to another, often with little pause between each word, which might sound good, sounds cool, but, but how, how the heck am I supposed to know when you've moved from when you've moved on to a new word, you know, when you when you leave out like a whole half of the previous word and you don't have a proper pause between going from one word to the other, that gets a little confusing. And plus, plus just to rant a little bit here, this is probably because I'm a little, this, I'm just trying to pick it up, but the, the, the French is supposed to be gendered. It's but like, it's supposed to, it has those masculine and feminine words in it. And if you're going to do that, uh, how, how how are we supposed to tell if the word is going to be masculine or feminine when you leave off the ending of the word? You know, the part, the part of the word which is supposed to tell you if the word is masculine or feminine. You know, leaving off the word sexuality, the, the words are now sexually ambiguous, even though you're supposed to give them like a, like a gender or something. That's, I feel like I'm on X or Twitter or something. It's like I'm supposed to like know just randomly what like even though now i've got all these different gender things and i'm supposed to just somehow know what it is even though that you don't even have it like it's supposed to be spanish doesn't stand for that kind of thing you know spanish i mean again i'm just an observer here but it seems like spanish just doesn't they don't the spanish is like hey if if we write down a letter unless it's like a silent h or something you're gonna pronounce the letter if we write down the letter we pronounce the letter. That's how that's how it seems to work. You know, they don't have any wasted writing typically on it. They just they're like, we're going to say it. You know, and it, and the pronunciation will be surprisingly similar for each letter. Even vowels, even vowels don't really change that much. You go from one word to another word, and the vowels still sound like the vowels, and you're not like skipping over vowels. You don't got like silent vowels in there typically. You know, it's pretty much it is what it is. Which I gotta say, it's, it's much appreciated uh, for the for the learner over here. Good, I'm kind of appreciate that on this. And, and, and Spanish Spanish isn't down with the ambiguous sexuality of the word thing either. I, you know, most words, 
they, 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 they either they're going to tell you they're, they either end in an A ah or an A they have an A or an E or whatever at the end of them and you better say you better say the A or the E at the end you don't just leave it off you say you got to say the thing at the end of the word so that people know that you don't confuse people because it's supposed to have a gender on the word and you got to be clear about about it otherwise people get confused and I don't care and they're like, they're like, hey, dude, I don't care what the woke people say. Uh, we're, we're not going to be replacing the, the A and the E or the I and the A or whatever with an X. They're just like, that's, that's not how we roll. So they just, have, they just keep that thing. They just, the, the words have the gender on it. And this is, I, again, this is just my interpretation as an English speaking person from my, my, my dabbling and try to learn this stuff on the YouTubes. But I, from I feel like Spanish got more of like the I don't know it feels like they got more of the Roman the like Roman efficiency part of the Latin kind of thing, whereas the French seems like they got more of the the influence by the by the ancient Greek flow and fluidity thing or something. I, that's just my the, the the French does have a nice flow to it though. Get it, get get getting aligned to at least sound somewhat French does feel impressive i've got to say and i can't i can't see why they would be proud of that that makes sense but and i shouldn't i i know i shouldn't criticize anybody's languages because english is is of course quite a mess you got a lot of weird things going on there with silent letters funny words vowels that are changing sounds all the time you got the same vowel they don't sound the same when you say them from different word to word but you know now that i now that i think of it much of the issues in English were probably caused by the French as well, you know, because they're, they're because a lot of the words that I I can't even spell in English seem to be French words. Now that I now that I think about it, like garage, like how you sp garage, like you're supposed to spell that something. It's hard to spell that word, right? It's like ooh la ti da, Mister Frenchman. We, a garage. What do you call it? I call it a car hole. A car hole. It's from The Simpsons. What a beautiful name, a car hole. <laughs> Garage press. And restaurant. How are you supposed to spell restaurant? How's restaurant? That's tough. That's tough one to spell, you know? And like can't we just call it like an eatery? Or like a like a pancake house? A diner? We could just call it like a feed your face place? I mean that's got a lot of elegant flowing rhyme to it, you know? Sounds very fancy, a feed your face place. That's what I think we should call it.